Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make Texas style chocolate sheet cake with chocolate ganache made with buttermilk and this beautiful topping of nuts. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. That way you don't miss on upcoming videos. Let's see how to make this delicious and moist chocolate sheet cake. Here, two cups of all-purpose flour goes in large bowl and one and three-fourth of a cup sugar, that is white sugar, two teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon salt and three-fourth of a cup cocoa powder. Go ahead and swift it so that there is no lumps. Now go ahead and mix, combine them all together until it's well incorporated. We are going to make this in a one bowl. So make sure your bowl is large enough to accommodate everything. Now once it's all well combined, I'm going to add wet ingredients. One cup of hot water, one cup buttermilk or regular milk, two eggs. If you want to whisk the egg and add, that's also fine. One teaspoon vanilla extract, half a cup of vegetable oil or melted butter that is room temperature. Combine well until it's all incorporated and the batter is nice and creamy. Now my oven is preheating at 350 degree. Here I'm using 9 by 13 inch pan greased lightly with oil or butter. Go ahead and add the pour the batter. As you can see the as soon as you pour the batter it takes all the space in the pan. Just tap to release the bubbles. If there is any bubble just break it. And now go ahead and bake it for 30 minutes. Now here I'm using half a cup of or one stick of butter in a saucepan. Melt it on a low heat. Add 3 tablespoon cocoa powder. This is a regular baking cocoa powder. Combine on a low heat until it's well incorporated and combined. Now once it all comes together, now I'm going to add one third of a cup buttermilk or six tablespoon of a milk. Go ahead and Cook them until this starts bubbling around the sides. Turn off the heat and add two and a half cups of powdered sugar. If you want to add more sugar, you can definitely add, but I think this sweetness is just perfect. Combine well until the sugar is well incorporated with the, with the cocoa powder mixture. Now to this, I'm adding vanilla extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you want to add more, go ahead and add. It's okay, it gives great flavor. Combine well. You can see the ganache is beautiful. It is nice consistency. Now set this aside, but it has to still be warm. And now let's check the cake. The cake I just removed from the oven. It's nice and still hot. Now I'm going to pour the hot ganache. The cake is hot. The ganache is hot. When you add them, it will spread evenly. And just use spatula if you want to just spread it around to the corners on all over the cake. If you prefer to cool down your cake for two to three minutes, you can do that, but make sure your cake is still warm when you add the hot ganache. Now I'm adding one third of a cup chopped pecans. You can add walnuts or you can completely skip this step. Add on top and let it cool down completely before we cut them. Now I'm going to cut them into squares once it's completely cooled down. Cut them into any shape if you want. Squares are the typical one. It's easy to cut. And I'm going to show you how soft and moist this cake is. You can store this at room temperature. It will stay fine for up to two to three days. That's totally fine. I kept it for three days. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, let me in the comment below. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care guys. Bye.